It is time for some love in the morning. Experts say one of the secrets to a happy marriage is finding the time to do things together. But what if spouses have completely different interests? That's one question that one of our viewers has here this morning. So joining us on the couch to tackle this very issue is certified relationship and marriage coach Jennifer Blaine Cool back on the couch. Good morning. Good morning, Emily Travis. Thanks for having me. Again. Glad to oh, see you. This is another good one. Yeah. Uh, dive right into it, shall we? So today's question is from one of our viewers, Mike, and he asks, quote, my wife and I each have different interests outside of our relationship that we do separately. This, of course, impacts our connection, time, and connection altogether. How do we find couples' activities to stay connected? So this is a great question, and the first thing I want to say is it's important to hold a positive mindset about your differences. Mm -hmm. It's much, much more common than not to have differences with your partner as far as what your interests and passions are. Uh, I think we can easily get into the human trap of wanting to be the same as our partner, yeah. but sameness creates friendship. Differences actually create you know, polarity or spark and passion in a relationship. So it's actually important to have a lot of differences. Um, so I, I think it's important to start there because, you know, as a, as a relationship and marriage coach, I work with so many people that get stuck in the negative mindset and, and play out of what that means because you have different yeah. interests, losing sight of the real value benefit system there because sure. there really is one. It almost feels like to me an issue of quality versus quantity, right? Yeah. You know, you maybe are wanting to spend more time together, doing more things together because the time you are spending together is not quality time together. Right. You know, just making sure that that time you do spend together, even if it's not a lot. I love that. You're actually appreciating each other's company. That's a very great point. And I think that when you, you know, I think going to your point, when you have differences, it also forces you to be more creative. Yeah. If you're doing your job well as a partner in a love relationship, <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, but, you know, it definitely forces you to get more creative about what you do together. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I would love to suggest as a concrete strategy, making a handwritten list individually of all the things that you would most love to do on a date. You know, no holds bar, no filters, and then you share the list and you decide as a couple, okay, what, what is approved on this list? And what's not going to get approved for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. But make that your base, your your baseline cheat sheet, so to speak, when you need, a, you know, a, a, a creative spark on what to do. Yeah. I also think that, you know, when we open our minds and our hearts to things that our partner likes that maybe we wouldn't do on our own, man, that's where a lot of the magic is at in a relationship. And yeah. also, you know, talk about getting to know our partner on a different level, getting to know ourselves on a different level. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of benefit to, you know, opening up that, that mindset around the differences, which is, I think, most important here. Well, I like that because, uh, to go back to the question, too, you know, trying to find the activities to stay connected, I think it's great to hammer home, like, you know, yeah. respect yourselves as individuals. I think that's awesome. Yeah. But if at the end of the day, maybe they both do respect themselves as individuals, but yeah. they just recognize that they're like, hey, we don't do a lot of that outside stuff together. Right. And to try to find something, that's is, that's the best way to do it. Like make a list and just kind of see what clicks. What about something that's yeah. new for both of you? Yeah. Because that's novelty also is a great way to connect with someone. Absolutely. You know? And I love your, I love both your points yeah. because, you know, I, I think making a list of what you both would love can be a very powerful exercise, but then coming up with new things that maybe you both have not done because, I mean, to your point, novelty. Yeah. Oh, that's definitely dating, a... dating shows like The Bachelor literally manufacture feelings because you both jump out of a plane <laughs> right. together for the first time. And oh my gosh, we're so right. connected. It's the, it's the novelty. Right, mm. yeah. right. But don't, you know, don't let your differences spark challenge or strife yeah it's a lot of times your differences are what originally drew you together even though you might see them from a different lens now that you've been together mm. for a certain amount of time I that that's makes such a common sense. trap for couples it's so yeah. common i yeah. really love this question because i mean this is every day this is every day challenge yeah so this, is, this is something you see a, a decent amount it's a question you a address a lot yeah a lot yes yeah. Oh. and i get it too i think it's like i think it's humanly 
there's a lot of human traps here. Yeah, yeah that makes <laughs> you know? sense. Is it possible to compromise if if you are just like it would mean the world to me if you would sit down and watch football with me on Sundays and your partner is like that is truly the last thing I want to do. Like, is is there a way to compromise on those activities? That's a great question because you know you want to have the ability to say on the list. Okay, you know what? We're not doing that. But then how many how many no's should you be able to have? Because yeah. you can't say no the whole, to the whole list. Right. So maybe it's, you know, also to make it playful and give it an element Throw of sass. Throw a few vetoes, a little <laughs> veto quota <laughs> like, in there. It's like, right. jury, it's like jury voir dire. You can strike three activities. and you, then you're not. You can do things to earn new, you know. I'm, yeah. anyway. Honestly, that sounds like a date in and of itself. Just yeah. to go over your list. That could be a open a bottle of wine, That's go over adorable. what you kind of like like fun. It, right? I like it. I like it. Right. Jennifer, great to talk to you. a mix of all of it. Yeah, good that's ideas. Good, that's good Jen. stuff. I Hopefully, love it. we gave you some good ideas, Mike. Have fun yeah. planning some fun new things. Yeah, yeah Mike. Sure. I'm excited for you guys. Yeah. All right. And if you have a question for Coach Jen, as always, you can send us a message right now on the Coin News AM Extra Facebook or Instagram pages. Your question may be answered right here on the show, and you can remain anonymous. Slide into those DMs. <laughs> there it is. I want to see those questions. <laughs>